I hope you have time to grab a cup of coffee and stay tuned. It turned out to be a long day. sitting in my hope to be soon completed little garden area don't know if it's going to get done or not this is just a little chit chat in my head it's been swirling swirling i seen a a post this morning which i already knew all the facts in it but i was glad to see that um uh, it was shared because I really don't feel like it's my place to share others' personal journeys. So, um, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, tomorrow's Father's Day. Uh, what's today? The 19th, maybe? I'm still on check -a watch I'm going to start tomorrow. <laughs> I'll get sidetracked quite a bit, I'm sure, in this video. They got trouble coming over here. I thought I might have it to myself, but I don't know. I don't know. But tomorrow's Father's Day, so I want to wish all your dads out there a very happy Father's Day. I hope you get to spend time with your children, your family, your grandchildren. I know our daughter every year says, Mom, what can I get, Daddy? And I look at her and I say, you, that's all he wants is you. Time, time is the most important thing for all of us. Don't you agree? When she asks him that question, he'll tell her the same thing. Honey, I don't want anything, just you. Just you is enough. Don't ever forget that, just being you is enough. I think the older we get, the more we realize that material things aren't that important. Uh, if it was all to go away tomorrow, it wouldn't be that important as long as we have family. Right. I hope I can get through this video. Tomorrow marks 11 years that our do youngest daughter passed. So Father's Day also has a different meaning for me and Kenny. We lost one of ours. Unexpectedly, but after a long battle. And although I don't go in details because we do have a Eli, and I feel like when a child is ready, they will ask the questions that need to be answered. But there's not a day go by that I don't miss her. And June's a hard month. Hard month for her sister, her daddy, for all of us. So I have to work my way through it just like he works his way through. We work it through together. I hope I'm speaking loud enough. And like I said, I don't go in a whole lot of detail, just know that for all you mothers and fathers out there that have lost loved ones, we keep them here. And I like to picture her doing the things that she loved doing. And we have a bonus because we have a little boy that's just like her. He is. Mama made over, we'll tell them that. <laughs> oh, but anyway, I come out here. I've been out, this is already afternoon. I'm just now having fresh coffee. I was looking to make sure I didn't have bugs in it. I should have put it in my uh, to-go cup. But uh, I, I don't know about you all, but I drink coffee from the night before because I use my electric percolator now. Very seldom do I use my K-cup or the 
mainstay, not because it's not good, but because I'm drinking more. And it was getting tiresome, you know? Getting tiresome putting that little K-cup in there for every cup if I was just gonna keep going back and forth. And I don't know about you either, but sometimes <laughs> when I went to make my coffee and I got it poured, I'd go ahead and get the water because mine was just a single, is a single. I'd put the uh, water in the K-cup in and get it ready for the next time because I knew there was going to be a next time. So normally during the day, I'd have two cups, not, not like this, but cups that I'd just rotate them back and forth. Or y'all, any of y'all like that with your coffee, I don't know. But yeah, uh, although Father's Day is a day to honor fathers, a lot of us, our fathers have passed. And that's a sad occasion. It can be a happy, it can be happy memories to you, but sad they're not here at the same time. We have fathers that have lost children as in our case, but still have children. So it's a mixed blessing. Saying Happy Father's Day to some doesn't bring a smile on their face. We gotta remember those too, don't we? I don't know if I'm, I'm not eloquent on my talking, so I've had so much emotions going on this week and just from what I said, I see people that have been through it understand. Get a phone call from my sister that Omi's running a fever of almost 103 this week. And uh, she didn't want to take it seriously. We begged her to go to the doctor. She stubborn what can you say she's stubborn she said oh you know it's just my sinuses i'll be all right and so her fever went down to a manageable point and then my sister says she'll take a personal day and stay with her because if nothing else we would have went over there uh, of course with the mask since she was sick but i would have made sure she was took care of Kenny volunteered, I volunteered, but Connie says, no, I'll, I'll go ahead and stay and see how she does. She had a fairly good day the day that Connie stayed out with her and her fever continually tried to stay down. Still refusing to go to the doctor, but I told her, I said, you know, just in case, just make sure that you rotate your fever medicine, make sure you drink plenty of liquids and because she had the sinus issue I said make sure you take plenty of mucinex I said because my doctor and Eli's doctor both said when in doubt mucinex because if you've got the upper head congestion and all that so I'm happy to say she's a lot better <laughs> as a matter of fact we were on the phone till two o'clock this morning, I think, because you'll see in another video when uh, I went to Heather's yesterday, and by the time I took care of everything around here, and it was muggy, I was pouring the sweat, got dressed, and left out, come home. Of course, I have to check on everybody make sure my boys are fed. I was exhausted, so I laid down and I didn't get up till, I guess three hours later. And uh, so I had to check YouTube out, not my videos, but a video I was waiting for. And when that was done, I messaged on me. I said, are you still up? This was, around 11 o'clock. She messaged me back, yes. And uh, so we talked almost three hours. 
we did. She visited with me while I was outside, inside. Uh, I watched her go to her mailbox. <laughs> I said, don't let Connie catch you. And we just talked about a lot of different stuff, but she feels better. But I told her, uh, my, I don't know if it's the day my brother and I were on three-way with her that she didn't answer my calls, I think, the day Connie went home, went back to work. And, of course, I know she was probably going to sleep or something, but at least she could leave me a message, you know, telling me I'm all right, I'm just going to lay down. I said, don't ever do me that way again. Because Klaus also was messaging me, have you talked to Mom? I said, because I will call welfare check. And if you don't answer, I'll have them beat your door down. She said, you wouldn't. I said, yes, I would. Why? Because I know she don't want her door beat down. I think she'll answer from now on. And I think she said last night she's going to have to quit being less stubborn, that she's going to have to start doing different, that she, at her age, young, she's young, she looks young, uh, that she does need to be more cautious. But you know the past two years have scared people so bad, they don't know what to do. They really don't. But I, I tell her, I said, Mom, we're not gonna tell you anything we wouldn't do ourselves. Are y'all like that with your parents? She's the child now. She is. Uh, a lot of people have asked me about Jan and uh, I finally talked to her earlier in the week. It was the same day I found out about my mama. But I hadn't really talked about it to you all because I was waiting on her or her sister to put what was going on out. It's not, I always say it's not my story to tell. It's Jan's story. And if she, her sister's very eloquent, very forthcoming on how she puts things out there and talks about it. So, uh, a lot of people don't know how to get to the community page on YouTube. But if you'll go over to Jan's channel at the top where it says uh, videos, something else, community and about page, hit the community. And if you'll hit that community tab, at the top of her home page, you'll see a big long explanation of what's been going on with Jan. She can use all the prayers that we can give her, send her all the love we can send her. Uh, I hope to actually get to see her, you know, fairly soon. It's not just not been in the cards with the way things are going. As you, uh, I know that I'll be keeping in closer contact with her though. Let's encourage her. Let's encourage Omi. Let's encourage everybody out there that we know they're struggling with something right now. I, I know my daughter, she's trying to find her way in life. She's 42 now, our daughter is. We, when we moved here, I was 40. So she's two years older than I was when I moved here. And I can say in the past 22 years, I found my way more than once. And she's finding her way. It's a struggle. All we can do for anyone is listen. I tell her, I say, honey, I might tell you something. You might decide you want to go with it. You may not. It might give you an option to think about because not not one thing for any of us works for everybody. What works for me may not work for you. So that's why I always say I'm not an instructor and I'm not a teacher. I'm not, you know, any of that. I'm just me. I was raised in the 60s. Uh, There's so much emphasis on being prepared now with the way the world is, with the way the economy's doing. Uh, 
I know a lot of people probably look at me sometimes when I'm talking and laughing and going on and they're they're really stressed and all of it and I understand that I guess I came from the 60s where we grew up that way we grew up with struggles and we learned how to do it as we were growing up uh, when Kenny and I married you know things were not good um, the 80s weren't good. I mean, every decade has certain issues. This, to me, is extreme. It is. But we gotta have faith. But with faith, we do have to work at it, too. We have to. I try to at least make sure my family has gro food, groceries. I try to make sure we have medicine. I know like in October when we all got sick, I had what we needed here. No one had to come down here. The only reason anyone would have had to come down here is if we would have had to left. We had everything. Um, and I can't stress. After my aneurysm, my doctor said the number one killer is stress. So yeah. We need to be aware, but we can't live in fear. I, I refuse to live in fear. I do. Fear takes the joy out of life. And there's something in every day I think we can find a little joy in. This is how my brain works. Y'all may not want any more chit chats. I kind of just wanted to come out here and I'm gonna paint my chairs out here hopefully pretty soon, but I just wanted to come out here and listen to the crickets. Uh, I was waiting to see if the kittens would maybe come out. My daughter-in-law and I tried to catch one the other day that she's gonna take home with her and we couldn't catch them. The two she wasn't gonna take, they're the friendly ones. We took them in the house and everything and the. We thought two girls, no. I got on to Heather, she laughed. Pansy look alike is a girl, but the little gray one's a boy. So I like to find them a home together. Of course, they'll have to be fixed because you don't want them having kittens together. But we've really enjoyed watching them. And uh, Heather be here in a day or two. So she might help me catch it. They wind up going in places I can't get to. But that's how I've been spending my days. Piddling. Getting out here. Looking at the mess I've got. Also, looking at what I'm growing, which for some wouldn't be a whole lot, but to grow even one thing for me, I'm happy. I consider that a success. Um... Uh, but getting back to the way situations are now in life, we can't let it steal our joy. We can't. Uh, yeah, we're all going to get down and out at times. Trust me, I know. I know. <laughs> uh, but we have to try to find a way of working out of it. And it's not always easy. But just know... As long as we have faith, we have hope. Without faith, we don't have hope. We really don't. Uh, I've been through so much the past 11 years between loss and then my own illness and raising a child again that uh, Face what got me through it. I knew that I could get through it. It wasn't going to be easy, trust me. But I could get through it. Am I who I used to be? Inside I am. But how I do things isn't. But I've learned not to care. I learned to just be who I am which I've always been, but I can't be as precise with 
things like I used to be, like the cleaning or the cooking or, but I figure as long as we have a clean bed, we have good, we have good food, quick or not, we have love, that's all we need, right? Must have been about Father's Day and an update on Omi and Jan, and I've kind of went off the, that's how my brain works every day. I've done got, like I think I said, I've done got my watering done, everybody's fed, I collected eggs. I was in one area and I forgot to take something to uh, put my eggs in. And I didn't want to put them in my feed bucket because I knew when I got out of that area that uh, I'd have to be scooping feed out. Can anybody guess where I put my eggs? <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna take a sip of this coffee. It's finally cooled down a little bit. I'm gonna take you off the tripod. I'm gonna take you over there to, uh, oh, yeah. We're gonna, I'm gonna take you over there to Lady. But before I do that, people have been asking me about Cinnamon. She passed away a few months back. Uh, she was her cheerful, normal self, running around. And then uh, one day she kind of was like, she was going broody, if you know what I mean. The same thing y'all been seeing on my videos with Lady and uh, Henrietta. She acted broody and she stayed in her nesting box. And when I went out the next morning, she had passed away. Don't believe that it was uh, what you did, egg bound, because she'd been laying eggs. I don't know what happened. She was enclosed, so I know nothing got to her. That's what I'm talking about. Life's hard to talk about. It's one of the hardest things to talk about. It took me years for our daughter to talk about. And it's took me months to talk about cinnamon. She was special. And I do have some video that I have of her uh, before she passed that she was just cracking us up, me and Heather, that I think I'm gonna put a little video together to honor her. Because although I love all my animals, there's certain ones that take your heart. And she was special. She was a corker. She was the KFC hen, remember? <laughs> Took her to get her wings clipped. Followed me everywhere. Reason my porch looks like it does. <laughs> but she was worth it. And so are you. We're all worth it. So, uh, when I get, like I get now, I try to think of the fun stuff, stuff that'll make you laugh, and that's what we have to do. So, again, happy Father's Day to all those out there, to all those that have lost their dads like we have. We can honor them by living the best life that we can. For all those that still have fathers out there, the most valuable gift you can give them this time. Right? That goes for your fault. And that's not one day of the year. I'm always saying this. Holidays aren't just one day of the year. A Father's Day shouldn't be celebrated one day of the year. Father's Day should be all year long. Of course, it can't be every day. But it should be all year long. Right? And, uh wanted to make sure that I told you about Omi, and, but that she is doing better. Y'all might need to get on to her too for not listening. I think she's finally took me serious about the welfare check and bank, knocking her door in. 
Uh, and please pray for Jan and Randy and for Jan to quit killing. Uh, I worry about her. I do. I know she has to do what she feels best on her own. You know what I'm saying? And she's doing everything she knows to do. Also know that feeling of hopelessness. And Jan, I'll say it again. You're loved. You're loved for who you are. And uh, I told her I, the other day, I said, Jan, she's talking about some videos she bought to do that doesn't take, you know, a lot of standing. And I said, Jan, just to get out there and talk to people, they'll be happy. So let's encourage Jan. As I know, even though I can talk to her, I tell her, I said, I miss seeing your face out there in YouTube land. <laughs> so uh, let's keep everybody hurting. I mean, there's many, many more I've not mentioned. Those are the two I feel comfortable talking about. But let's pray for everybody, keep them in our hearts, that uh, they'll be healed and find joy soon, okay? So until next time, I'm surprised that there's a wasp nest up here that I've not been bit by mosquitoes yet. So, oh, I was gonna take you. See how I forget stuff? I did, I think I told you I was gonna take you. Oh, oh, mama's feeding her kitten. Hi, mama. Feeding her kittens. Her a good mama, been a good mama. Yes, you have. And I probably, Let's see if I can put my coffee here without it spilling. As long as trouble don't come over here, I think I'll be all right. I checked on her earlier. Are you about ready to hatch? Huh? Let's get some hatching done, okay? So you can get out of here. Okay? You wanna tell everybody until next time? We'll talk soon.